data set, measures of center, three measures of center. We got mode. Mode is what number or what item shows up most frequently. In this particular set, you can look through. We got a 24, we got two 24s. Everything else is, if there's only one of it, so 24 would be the mode, the most frequently occurring number in a set. Median, median is center of the set. Go we'll come back to that. Mean is add all these numbers up and divide by how many numbers there are, the quantity. So I would have to do 17 plus 24, that's 41, plus 12 is 53, plus 47, that's 60, 100, 26, 132, keep adding up, all right, 152, 156, 157, 187, 227, 229, all right, if I add these numbers up, the sum is 229, unless I add it incorrectly, in which case, feel free to uh, let me know in class. And I'll divide that sum by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 numbers here. 229 divided by 9 gives me the mean. All right, so again, I added all of those numbers up and then divide by how many items are in the set. A lot of times your mean is going to give you a number that you're going to have to round. So I put the squiggly equal sign, if my marker will do it, squiggly equal sign. Uh, Alright, looks like 25.5, approximately 25.5 is my mean. Now it should make sense to me when I look at my numbers, the mean should come somewhere in the center of them. So we got some 40s, we got some 12s, we got some 20s, 30s. All right, 25.5 sounds pretty reasonable. So I uh, don't think I did terribly with my addition. Okay, median, the center of the set. In order to find the median, you're gonna need to line your numbers up in order from smallest to biggest or from biggest to smallest. So a lot of times I'll just write and cross out while I go to make sure I don't miss anything. 17, 24, 24, 26. Notice that if there's two 24s or two of anything in the set, I'll write both of them. If there were three of something in the set, I would write all three of them. 31, 42, 47. Okay? Two, four, six, eight, nine. All nine numbers. Median is what is the center of the set. So we've got four numbers here, four numbers here. The center of my set is 24. That's the median, the number that's in the center after you line all your numbers up in order. Closer look at mode, most frequent. Mode is the only measure of center that we can use with categorical data, okay? This stuff down here. Blue is gonna be my mode. Blue shows up most often. One, two, three, four times, all right? Notice, even though red repeats, all right, it doesn't repeat as many times as blue, so it's not the mode. Mode is what it shows up most frequently. Blue is the mode. This set right here, this green set, I just want to point out, none of the numbers repeat. There is no mode. That is a possible answer. No mode. All right, no mode. If none of the numbers repeat, really, truly, even if the if it's a really large set and a lot of numbers repeat only twice, if you get 
too many modes, there's almost no point in mentioning the mode, okay? Alluded to that in this top set here, 21 shows up three times, 15 shows up three times, 34 shows up twice, 76 shows up twice, everything else shows up just once, but there are there are two numbers that are tied for being most frequent. So in this case, you would identify both of them as modes. All right, you can have more than one mode. You cannot have more than one of the other types of measures of center. No, not more than one mean, not more than one median, but you can have more than one mode. Closer look at Median. Sometimes when you put your numbers in order, and count towards the center. Sometimes when you put your numbers in order, and count towards the center. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You end up with two numbers in the middle. Okay, if that happens, what you want to do is find a number that is halfway between them. Some people can tell just by looking. All right, halfway between 21 and 27, the number's going to be 24. 24 is 3 above 21, and it's 3 below 27. So that is what I would use as my median, even though it's not in the set. Because there's two numbers in the center, find a number halfway between them. If you cannot tell just by looking a number that's halfway between your, your two centers, you can always use this little rule. Add the two numbers together. Divide by two. If you're using a calculator that doesn't do order of operations, matter of fact, if you're using a calculator that does do order of operations, make sure you put your numerator in parentheses. I have 48 divided by 2, 24, give you the number in the center. Okay? So if there's two numbers in the center, add them together, divide by 2, that'll give you your median. Second example for mean, if you didn't get it the first time, I'll write this out. 24 plus 76 plus 27 plus 15 plus 19 plus 21 plus 13. All of that divided by 2, 4, 6, 7. All right, divide by how many numbers we have. So again, that's 100. 140, 180, 195, over 7. Put my squiggly equal sign again because we're probably going to be approximate. Seven point eight as a mean, and for our purposes, algebra one, you can you can cut it after your first decimal place. 